Hello and welcome to Daytona Sandown Park for the very first Dare to be Different event. Today, girls from local schools will have the unique opportunity to learn about various aspects of motorsport, including engineering, journalism, fitness and nutrition, and of course racing to inspire their future careers. Well Susie, it's great to see you three months on. It's all happening now. How do you feel? It's real. Yeah. You know, there was so much work and organisation that went into this event and so many great people who helped us. And the reality when 100 little girls trooped into the building this morning was fantastic. And we had the luck with the weather and everybody seems to be having a, a great day so far. So yeah, very, very proud. I think what's very interesting to see, they love the Formula One car, I think being so close to a Formula One car has, has been a huge moment for a lot of them. The girls that are going out on the kart track the first time, it's, it's so interesting because at the beginning they're very nervous, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, and the minute they get out, they come in saying, when can I do it again, I love it, when can I go again? So that's exactly what we wanted and, and obviously on the STEM net challenge, they're building a hovercraft, that's pretty cool. Natalie, um, how have the girls been responding to you helping them with the interviews and talking to camera for the first time? Because that must be quite daunting for a girl that's never done that before. 100%. And what's been really impressive and really encouraging is how much they've grown in confidence as they've been doing it. So initially they were really reluctant, as anyone would be. I mean, I speak to a lot of adults who can't do it. And even people that you would think would exude loads of confidence, put them in front of the camera and they suddenly freeze and it's, you know, it's inevitable. And then it was so lovely because they grew in confidence and they were encouraged by their friends um, and they kind of got into it and they saw the fun side of it and it was brilliant. This is like the script of um, the first, second, third and the person who crashed um, in the race and the TV presenters um, like asking them questions about how did you feel about winning and how did you crash okay. and things like that. So how have you enjoyed your day so far? Um, well I, th I think it's really fun and I'm really enjoying it. My favourite so far has been the karting and we've also um, changed the tyres of a go-kart. It's been really fun. What's been your favourite thing that you've done so far? Probably the bit that we just did then with the pit crew. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I watched that earlier. Was that quite difficult? Uh, not really. So if you girls were to choose a career in motorsports, which career would you choose? I'd probably choose the support team for taking off the tyres and putting them back on again. Yeah. I like that bit. Um, well, I'd like to do racing, but maybe making the carts as well. That would be really interesting, wouldn't it? That would be really cool. And I'd like to do racing as well. Give me your hands up. Is it good? Yay! So proud of Susie for leading this initiative, leading this charge, because it needed to happen. And it just goes to show, when you look around and you see a hundred schoolgirls here, by the way, all of whom are so proud just to be here, they're telling me they got their letters to say that they'd been accepted onto the day. And they like framing the letters and pinning them Aww. on their fridge. And then it's, one of the girls said, oh, mum and dad were so proud of me just to be here. So it's, it's incredible. It's, it hasn't come too soon. It's, it's great. The whole idea behind the event was to organize something that I would have loved to have done. You know, I never had this opportunity when I was younger. So that was how we kind of put the day together. And I think so far, so good. Well, it's fantastic. And also they're having an educational time, but also really good fun. Yeah, I mean, they don't realise there's a, an educational part in it, but that's the whole concept of Dare to be Different. You know, not every girl is going to leave here being inspired to be an engineer or a presenter or a driver, but we just want to bring them out of their comfort zone. We want to open them up and that they do something different for the day and that they've dared to be different. To find out more about Dare to be Different, visit daretobedifferent.org. And if you'd like to find out how to host your event at Daytona, visit daytona.co.uk.